Let's start with the basics. The Latin name for wine grapes is Vitis vinifera. Vinifera is native to Europe and Asia, but grows well in many regions, and in some cases, even better than our own native North American Vitis lambrusca, or Concord grape. When talking about the different wine grape varieties or varietals, you start with the two main categories, red and white. The main red wine varietal or grape varieties include Cabernet, Merlot, and Pinot Noir, along with some other very popular reds like Zinfandel, Syrah, Shiraz, Malbec, and Sangiovese. Most red wines are made from these grapes, either individually or in blends. All wines would be white if not for the pigment in the red grape skin. But don't just take our word for it. Peel a dark purple Concord grape. What's inside is as pale as a ghost. Without that colorful skin, there would be no red wine. White wines also get some color from grape skin, but the skin is pale or lightly blushed, imparting less pigment. The main white wine varietals are Chardonnay, Pinot Grigio, Pinot Gris, and Sauvignon Blanc, followed by Riesling, Viognier, and Gewürztraminer. Gewürztraminer. Have fun with that one. Often included in the white wine category is white Zinfandel, which is actually made from the red Zinfandel grape. Please don't be confused, we'll have more on that later. Almost all wines are blended to a degree, usually but not always with grapes of the same color. Blending allows the vintner to play off the desirable characteristics of a given grape and to make a wine better than the sum of its parts. Now, depending on the regional laws, a wine can be considered a single varietal, like Cabernet, for instance, if at least 75% of it is made from juice of that particular type of grape. Wine has been with us for 10,000 years, but unlike beer and even some liquors, whose cereal grains grow everywhere, fussy grapes grow only in select conditions where the land, sun, and air create the perfect synergy. Grapes need good daily sunlight, well-drained rocky soil and just the right amount of rain at just the right time. Wine is a little bit of a diva. It wants what it wants, when it wants it, or else. You've likely heard of the most famous regions, France, Italy, Spain, and Germany in the Old World, and California, Washington, Oregon, as well as Australia, Chile, South Africa, and Argentina in the New World. But wine is also grown in such diverse areas as Missouri, Colorado, New York, Canada, Greece, Syria, and even China. In other words, if you have that perfect earth-sun water combination, you can grow wine grapes anywhere. The words region, subregion, and appellation are often used interchangeably in conversation. However, a region is a general area, such as California or France, while a subregion is a specific part of that area, like Napa or Bordeaux. Then, an appellation is an area within a subregion, like Stag's Leap or Medoc. Certified controlled subregions are also known by a variety of acronyms such as AVA, which stands for American Phytocultural Areas in North America, AOC in France, and DOC in Italy. All of these acronyms denote a specific controlled area certified by an appointed governing board of experts in each wine producing country. Some regions are known for a specific varietal. In France, the Bordeaux subregion is known for primarily the Cabernet and Sauvignon Blanc. In Burgundy, it's Pinot Noir and Chardonnay. In Italy, Sangiovese. In Argentina, Malbec. Germany, Riesling. And Australia gave a whole new name to the Syrah grape with its famous Shiraz. California, with its magical mojo, can grow just about anything. Its subregions are known for specific main varietals. In Napa, it's Cabernet and Chardonnay. In Sonoma and Monterey, it's Chardonnay and Pinot Noir. For Santa Barbara, it's Chardonnay and Syrah. Pinot Noir loves Oregon, and Riesling likes to give Washington a solid spin. Inherent in all this is the overall climate, which can be broadly described as terroir. Terroir, which comes from the French word for land, specifically means the immediate situation of a grapevine, the exact soil composition, the latitude and geography, average rainfall, amount of sun, what side of the hill it grows on, or even what is growing nearby, like, like olives or lavender. All of these things combine to form the exact atmosphere that influences the grape. This is terroir. 
But for our initial purposes, we can also use this term in broad strokes to understand which grapes grow best where and what characteristics their terroir gives them. For example, Pinot Noir is a more delicate, particular grape than Cabernet. So while Cabernet can grow pretty much anywhere and thrive on hillsides or in hot interior valleys, Pinot likes cool lowlands with some morning fog. Same with that fickle girl Chardonnay. It is a hardy grape that can grow anywhere but is deeply influenced by its terroir. Grow it in Napa where it is hot, flat, and dry and you get a completely different wine than one grown in the cool, low river valleys of Sonoma or temperate seaside climate of Santa Barbara. And the crazy part is you can actually taste all that in the wine. It's all about the hood. Okay, let's review the main points here. First, we know that when speaking about the different wine grape varieties or varietals, you start with two main categories, red and white. Next, we know that the main red varietals include Cabernet Sauvignon, Merlot, and Pinot Noir. And the main white wine varietals include Chardonnay, Pinot Grigio, or Pinot Gris, and Sauvignon Blanc. We learned that in order to refer to a wine by a single varietal, at least 75% of that wine must be made from the juice of that particular type of grape. The terms region, subregion, and appellation are often used interchangeably. However, a region is a general area like California or France. A subregion is a specific part of that area like Napa or Bordeaux. An appellation is an area within that subregion like Stag's Leap or Medoc. Further, we learn that each wine producing country has its own certified controlled subregions, also known by acronyms such as AVA in North America. AOC in France, and DOC in Italy. And finally, terroir, which comes from the French word for land, specifically refers to the characteristics of the environment in which grapes are grown, or the immediate situation of a grapevine.